Over to the next year, which is a few hours or few days. God wants us to cross a blessed people, a focused people. People who he wants to bless every time. People who are going to be a blessed generation every time. Because they belong to God. They are children of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We are the sons of God. And God is so much concerned about our lives. That, that everything we do he is concerned. And above all he wants us to be prosperous. Hallelujah. Amen. But there are things that can draw you back brother. There are things that can make you stagnate. Kuna mambo yanaweza kukufanya wewe ukakwama against the will of God. Kinyume cha mapenzi ya Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. And, he, and we are going to share from the book of Matthew chapter uh, from chapter 25 verses 14 to 23. Ningeshiriki nanyi habari kutoka kitabu cha Mathayo mlango wa 25 kuanzia fungu la 14. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Can you read in Kiswahili brother? Maana ni mfano wa mtu atakaye kusafiri Aliwaita watu watumwa wake akawaweka kwao mali zake. Akampa mmoja talanta tano na mmoja talanta mbili na mmoja talanta moja kila mtu kwa kadri ya uwezo wake. Akasafiri mara yule ali, aliyepokea talanta tano akaenda akafanya biashara nazo akachuma faidi talanta nyingine tano. Vile vile na yule mwi, mwenye mbili yeye naye akachuma nyingine mbili faida kini yule aliyepokea moja alikwenda alikwenda akaifuku akaifukia akaifukua chini akaificha fedha ya bwana wake baada ya siku nyingi akaja bwana wa watumwa wale akafanya hesabu nao akaja yule aliyepokea talanta tano akaleta talanta nyingine tano akasema bwana uli, uliweka kwangu talanta tano tazama talanta nyingine tano nilizopata faida Bwana wake akamwambia vyema mtu mwema na mwaminifu ulikuwa mwaminifu kwa machache utakuweka juu ya, we, ya mengi ingia katika furaha ya bwana wako akaja na yule aliyepokea talanta mbili akasema bwana uliweka kwangu talanta mbili tazama talanta nyingine mbili nilizopata nilizo faida bwana wake akamwambia vyema mtu mwema na mwaminifu ulikuwa mwaminifu kwa machache Nitakuweka juu ya mengi ingia katika furaha ya bwana wako akaja na yule aliyepokea talanta moja akasema bwana nilitambua ya kuwa wewe mtu mgumu wavuna usipopanda wakusanya usipotawanya basi nikaogopa nikaenda nikaificha talanta yako katika ardhi lazama unayo iliyo yako wanawake akajibu akamwambia Wewe mtumwa mbaya na mlegevu ulijua ya kuwa na vuna nisipopanda na kusanya nisipotawanya basi ilikupasa kuiweka fedha yangu kwa watoa hao riba nami nikija ningalipata iliyo yangu na faida yake basi mnyang'anyeni talanta hiyo mpeni yule aliye nazo talanta kumi kwa maana kile mwenye kitu Kila mwenye kitu atapewa na kuongezewa tele. Lakini asie na kitu hata kile alicho nacho atanyanganywa. Tosha. Hallelujah. Amen. God has put a, a talent in each one of us. Mungu akaweka talanta kwa kila mmoja wetu. He has deposited something in somebody's heart. 
ameweka arubuni ndani ya kila mmoja moyoni mwake there is some potential that god has deposited in each one of us kuna uwezo fulani ameweka mungu kwa kila mmoja wetu whether you are a youth or you are an old man or woman God has put something a potential that is only for you in your heart. Iwe wewe ni kijana wa juzi tu ama mzazi, mama, baba, wazamani sana. Mungu ameweka uwezo fulani ndani ya moyo wako. And the potential cannot be compared to another person. Na uwezo huo hauwezi kulinganishwa mmoja na wa mwingine. And God has looked at every one of us and said you are worth this amount of potential. Maya, na Mungu ameangalia na akakagua na akaona uwezo huu unastahili uwe na wewe. And there is no reason of lamenting when you see somebody with a higher potential and you with a lower potential. Na kuna sababu ya wewe kulalamika kwa sababu kuna mwingine ana uwezo mkubwa kukuliko wewe but god expects 100% productivity from each one of us lakini mungu anatarajia 100 za 100 matokeo kutokana kwetu he wants you to produce a hundredfold of the potential that he has put in you mungu angependa utoe 100 za 100 za uwezo alioweka ndani yetu hallelujah amen through goodness and faithfulness katika mambo mema na uaminifu we read a story here where jesus was teaching his people tunasoma hadithi hapa yesu alipokuwa anafundisha watu wake and he was telling them the kingdom of god is like a man taking a long journey na akawaambia falme wa mungu umefananishwa na mtu alienda safari ya mbali and he gives money 5000 for one person na anapeana talanta tano kwa mtu mmoja he give another one 2000 akapeana mbili kwa mwingine and he gives another one one na akapeana mwingine mmoja haleluya amen and so he was checking these people this one is worth giving this amount of money naye alikuwa akiangalia hao watu na akiona ya kwamba huyu ana staili tano huyu ana staili mbili huyu ana staili moja he is well able to utilize this money and be productive na ana uwezo wa kutumia ile talanta hata kasama masaa and he looks at another one and said you are worth this one of talent because you are able to produce a hundredfold of it. Na akaangalia yule mwingine akasema wewe astahili moja maana una uwezo wa kuitumia ukatoa 100 za 100. That was Jesus teaching. Na ni Yesu anafundisha. Say, this is how the kingdom of God is. Hivi ndivyo ufalme wa mbinguni ulivyo. And when the man came back, na yule mtu alipoenda na akarudi. He was he wanted an account of how the money was used akataka hesabu ya talanta vile zilivyotumika and he looked at these people said you are a good businessman how did you use your money na akaangalia wale watu na akasema nyinyi wafanyi biashara wazuri mlitumia pesa hizo vipi and one said i traded with your five talents na mmoja akasema nilifanya biashara na talanta zangu tano and i got five more na nikasalisha tano zaidi wow said you are a good man akasema mdema wewe ni mtu mzuri you are a faithful person wewe ni mtumishi mwaminifu wow you know i will we will increase more five you will take the other five to make ten nitakupatia hizo tano zaidi and he goes to another person na akaenda kule yule wa pili says what did you do with my two talents ulifanya nini na hizo talanta zangu mbili And he says oh my lord na akasema e hey, bwana wangu i want you to trade with these talents nilienda nikafanya biashara na hizo talanta mbili and i produced a hundredfold about this money na zikatoa 100 za 100 kuhusu hizo talanta mbili and it was amazing again na ilishangaza pia and he said lo you will get you will take the two make them fall for yourself na akamwambia chukua hizo mbili furahia alikuwa jeso bwana asipiwe then he went to the other one kisha kaenda kwa yule wa mwisho he expected a hundredfold alitarajia 100 za 100 but the man said look i know you are a you are a bad master kase lakini yule mtu akasema angalia wewe ni mtu mbaya i know you want to reap where you did not uh, plant or you want to harvest where you did not plant najua wewe unataka kuvuna mahali ambapo ukupanda wewe So I planned I went buried your money. Bas mimi ni mwerevu nilienda nikachimba nikaificha mimi. Here it is. Bas hii hapa ichukue mwenyewe. Take it. Chukua. You wanted me to trade for for, for your benefit. Ulitaka mimi nikafanye biashara ukafaidike wewe. Take your money. Chukua pesa yako. Bwana asifiwe. All the money was taken from him. Ile pesa aliyopewa yote ilichukuliwa kutoka kwake and was given to the other person. Na ikapewa yule aliyekuwa na tano zaidi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. God wants us to be faithful. Mungu angependa tuwe waaminifu. As he blesses us. Anapo tubariki. He wants us to be faithful. Angependa tuwe waaminifu. In those small matters. Katika mambo madogo madogo. Because he has put money, he has put a potential in each one of us. Maana ameweka uwezo, ameweka pesa ndani yetu. And it is it is important for you to realize that there is potential in each one of us. Na ni busara ukatambue uwezo ulioko ndani yako. God never created anything for nothing. Mungu hakumba chochote kwa 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 kwa, kwa bure. So if you went to school, kama ulienda shule, you have a a master's degree for that matter. Ukana ukona degree ya pili kwa sababu God has hiyo. still put potential in you. Mungu aliweka uwezo ndani yako. Maybe you did not go to school. Pekine ukwenda ta shule. Your father could not send you to school. Baba yako hakuwa na uwezo wa kukuwepeleka shule. There is potential from God. Lakini bado kuna uwezo kutoka kwa Mungu ndani yako. And God expects. Naye Mungu anakutarajia that you will produce ukazalishe 100%. Mia za mia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Inaweza ikawa ndugu ni kiroho. It may be it may be spiritual. There is still some potential. Bado kuna uwezo. It may be physical. Naweza kuwa katika kimwili. There is still some potential. Bado kuna uwezo. God created man that he may take care of the earth. Mungu akamwomba mwanadamu ili akatunze nchi. At the garden of Eden he told, kat- them, told huko- them you will take care of this earth. Katika shamba la Edeni akawaambia mkatunze hii bustani. So he ex- you are expected to take care of the environment. Unatarajiwa basi ukajali mazingira. You are expected to take care of the agriculture. Ni ukaangalie kilimo, the livestock. Uangalie ukulima ufugaji, the roads. Uangalie hata mmea, the, uh, the housing industry. Hata nyumba za biashara engineering hata katika uhandisi God depends on man to do that inatarajia mwanadamu akasimamie bwana asifiwe sana praise the lord watu wakatai wale wanasema watoto wetu wasiende shule maana wakienda shule wataenda jana wako wa kristo wanaopotea namna hiyo na wamejenga madhaba huko ambia msipeleke watoto shule washindwe katika jina la Yesu Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Kwa sababu Mungu anataka engineer ajenge nyumba hii. Haikujengwa na mtu ovyo hii. This man went to school. Huyu mtu alienda shule. Bishop Zero one day akaita mtu a structural engineer from Mombasa, very busy man, ama njo uangalie kanisa hili. Tunaijenga sawa ama tujenga kombo kombo. A whole structural engineer from from Mombasa. Mujenzi msomi kutoka Mombasa. Mungu mtu anasimama sima msisome msisome sisi tutangu kwa na nyumba wapendo haya huo Kristo huo na ukome kwa jina la Yesu Bwana asifiwe sana Mungu anataka tupanuke tuelewe mambo mengi ili kila kitu kiende sawa maana alisema nendeni katika eh, katika Eden nimeweka mutunze Bwana asifiwe sana so as we cross over to the next tunaporuka yeah. tunapoenda ngambo ya mwaka ujao God wants to expand us Mungu angependa kutupanua bless us kutubariki but we must also go there in goodness and in faithfulness na ni tukaende pale katika mambo mema na uaminifu in the small money in the small matters that we have kwa pesa chache na kwa maneno madogo madogo tuliona how faithful are we with the small assignments that god has given us kiasi gani tuaminifu kwa majukumu madogo madogo mungu aliyotupatia he has given you an assignment to be a preacher amekupatia majukumu kafanye he has given you an assignment to be a church elder amekupatia majukumu kasimamie he has given you an assignment to be a church deacon amekupatia majukumu uwe dikon wa kanisa or a church elder for that matter ama uwe mzee wa kanisa kwa sababu or a pastor ama hata mchungaji how much dedication do you give to the work of god kiasi gani umejitolea kwa kaa kwa ajili ya kazi yes, ya mungu you must be you might only be an usher in the church you might be an usher in the church unaweza kuwa semasi kanisani how much uh, how much time and dedication do you do it faithfully wakati kiasi gani na kujitolea kiasi gani umejiweka kwa ajili ya hiyo kazi how much faithfulness do you put in your work of playing the drum uaminifu umeweka kiasi gani katika shughuli hiyo and when god god ex, god looks at you how much can he say this is 100% in your dedication. Na Mungu anapokutembelea na akifanya ziara, atakukuta akiona ya kwamba ni mia za mia umejitolea. 
Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Hatuwezi kuwa sawa. Ndio maana Yesu asemwe mmoja alipoa tano, mmoja alipoa mbili, mmoja alipoa moja, lakini the expectation was the same. Matarajio yalikuwa sawa. Hallelujah. Amen. He wanted this one with the five to produce 100%. Aliyekuwa na tano alimtarajia atoe 100 za 100. He wanted the one with the two to produce 100%. Mwenye mbili alimtarajia atoe 100 za 100. And that one with the smallest one to produce 100%. Naye aliyekuwa na ndogo kabisa alimtarajia atoe 100 za 100. That is what God expects us. Hiyo ndio Mungu anatarajia. Jesus taught his, his disciples. Yesu akawafundisha wanafunzi wake. This is the way the kingdom of God is. Hivi ndivyo ufalme wa Mungu ulivyo. It is just like this. Ndivyo ulivyo namna hii. So God has put all those potentials in us. Naye Mungu ameweka uwezo aina hiyo katika ndani yetu he, he knows we are well able na anajua kwamba tuweza that we can be productive christians na tunaweza kuwa hatuwezi kuwa wakristo ambao wanaweza zaa we can be productive christians naweza kuwa wakristo wanaozalisha that is an expectation expectation of god kulingana na matarajio ya Mungu he, so that he can be happy and glory in himself naye akapata kufurahi na utukufu kawe kwake that there is um, there are my children in malindi ili akaseme kuna watoto wangu malindi they are productive ambao wanaozalisha they are spiritually productive kiroho anazalisha physically productive kimwili wako sawa bwana asifiwe hallelujah siku moja nilikuwa nairobi <laughs> nikamwona ndugu mbaye sijui ni bahati mbaya lakini hana miguu we anachapa injili ya kisawasawa nikaangalia hiyo miguu yangu bwana asifiwe sana mm haleluya amen mimi basi na miwili yale kwa hana kingine nikawa naangalia runinga sijui ni ndugu hana mikono ama ni nani vile anachapa chuo ah kwa runinga nikamwangalia Mino ni na mikono miri. Mimi niko na mikono miwili na miguu. Wapendwa Mungu anatarajia zaidi kutoka kwetu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Hata kwa huyo, yani usiji, usijiweke kando ukasema mimi namna gani? Sina miguu basi ama nina upungufu fulani. Ah, kuna kitu cha maana Mungu amekiweka ndani na anatarajia kitoe matunda. Basi huna mkono, huna macho, lakini kuna kitu unaweza kusema ah uhubiri basi ni wa wale wenye miguu miwili hayaangalii tena ana uvutio she, that bo, guy is an international preacher without arms uhubiri wa kimataifa asiyekuwa na mikono there is great potential in yourself kuna uwezo mkubwa ndani yako and god wants us when we cross the yard we go with that potential na Mungu anataka tunapofunga mwaka turuke tukiona huo uwezo to expand taking opportunities tukipanuka tukishika tukikumbatia fursa zozote yet with goodness and faithfulness tukiwa pamoja na uema na uaminifu when we are faithful god is able to expand us napodumu kwa uaminifu mungu anatupanua he is able to bless our families and ourselves An- anaweza kuweka jamii zetu pamoja na sisi he is able to bless our property Naweza kubariki hata vilivyo chini ya miliki yetu. And we can be called the blessed people. Na tunaweza itwa watu waliobarikiwa. That is the will of God. Hayo ndio mapenzi ya Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. When we look at this man, napoangalia kwa mtu huyu, oh, the one who was given one 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 one, one talent, baye alikuwa anaishi nyakati fulani, the one who was given one talent, aliyekuwa anatoa talanta moja, the one who was given one talent mbaya alikuwa amepewa talanta moja eh hey, god bless you you know let's see how he is described hebu tuone jinsi anavyoelezwa eh hey. soma mstari wa 26 ndugu soma wanawake akajibu akamwambia wewe mtumwa mbaya na mlegevu ulijua ya kuwa navuna nisipopanda na kusanya nisipotawanya basi ili kupasa kuiweka fedha yangu kwa toa kwa toao riba nami nikija ningalipata iliyo yangu na faida yake praise the lord bwana asifiwe his master replied and said you wicked lazy servant bwana asifiwe sana amen it's not a good information brethren we are supposed to live above that 
Wapendwa tunahitajika tuishi juu ya hiyo. Because God knows the measure of strength, the measure of power, the measure of ability, the potential in us and he expects that we shall be productive out of that potential. Maana Mungu anajua kiasi cha uwezo ulio ndani yetu.